I try and use the word secular and secularist carefully because the original meaning of the word seculum just meant this age. And it was Christians who used it. And Christian view of creation, you put a premium on the importance of this age, you know, things like the arts and good food and sex and so on. These are secular things. So there's nothing wrong with the secular. What's wrong to me is what I disagree with is a secularist worldview, which says there are no gods, gods, or the supernatural at all. And that, I think, is what's dangerous. So if you go back to the framers, they said, yes, freedom requires virtue. Virtue requires faith of some sort. Now, they're absolutely clear. Atheists have freedom of conscience. There's no question about that. They guaranteed protected freedom of conscience for everybody, including atheists. But some of the framers, people like Alexander Hamilton and John Adams, are very leery about having a society of atheists. Why? Because there'd be no solid grounding for virtue. And if you think, the highest inspiration for being virtuous comes from faith. The strongest content of saying what virtue is think of the seven deadly sins, comes from faith. And also, the toughest sanctions for what happens to people who are not virtuous, take, say, the notion of hell, that comes from faith. So the framers were very leery about a secularist-based worldview being adequate. And if you read John Adams, say, his letters to Davila, he, he, he almost predicts, without, without predicting, our modern understanding of postmodernism, a world, as he puts it, without any father where human beings are no different from the savages. And in that world, he wonders if the secularism can really provide the virtue which will sustain American freedom. And of course, we're seeing the outplaying of that in our own generation.